미국에서 약물이 아니라 전기신호로 통증을 없애는 치료법이 나왔습니다. 10번 치료하면 만성통증에도 좋다고 하는데 이게 정말 사실인지 미 상원에서 청문회가 열리기도 했습니다. 워싱턴 주영진 특파원입니다. 나무 주변에서 놀다가 번개에 맞은 뒤로 극심한 통증에 시달려온 고등학생이 병원을 찾았습니다. 특이한 점은 주사를 맞거나 약을 먹지 않고 통증 치료기로 치료를 받는다는 것입니다. I get pretty much every kind of pain imaginable. Usually five minutes after I get plugged in, my pain is almost completely gone. 이 치료기는 통증 부위 주변에 붙이는 패드를 통해 무통증 전기 신호를 뇌에 전달하도록 해서 통증을 치료하는 원리를 이용하고 있습니다. 신경성 통증은 물론 암 환자를 비롯한 만성적인 통증 치료에 효과가 입증돼 2009년에 미 식품의약국의 사용 승인을 얻었습니다. 하버드 의대 등 유명 병원들과 미국 국립 군병원 등에서 사용하고 있습니다. Each treatment takes about 30 minutes and you do it for up to 10 days in a row. It doesn't cause any of the usual side effects you see with pills. 지금 현재 서울대 암병원하고 국립 암센터에서 지금 임상을 진행하고 있고 현재 이제 한국 진입을 지금 시작을 하고 있습니다. 최근 미 상원에서 청문회가 열리는 등 약물 없이 통증을 가라앉히는 새로운 치료법에 대한 관심이 커지고 있어 이 통증 치료기를 도입하는 병원들도 크게 늘어날 것으로 보입니다. 워싱턴에서 SBS 주영진입니다. Chronic pain is a problem facing more than 76 million Americans. They take pills, try shock therapy, but the pain is still there. That's all changing, though, thanks to a local doctor with a machine his patients call a miracle. ABC6 reporter Erica Ritchie is live in the studio with a story you'll see only on 6. Erica? Well, Alton, that's right. We're talking about the type of pain caused by a botched surgery, chemotherapy, even the stub of a toe. Chronic pain sufferers, you know who you are. Your medicine cabinet is stocked with pain pills. But you know, if they work, it's only for a little while. This new therapy, though, is healing the hurt for good. I forgot what it was like to live pain-free. For nearly three years, Katie Pyatt couldn't do this, let alone this, all because she slipped and fell at her Houston office. I had a really bad ankle sprain. And the, the then 22-year-old didn't think too much of it until six months later. The pain in her right foot was so bad, it crippled her. It's like um, playing out in the snow with no gloves on and then coming inside and putting your hands underneath warm water. It's, it's that burning. Doctors diagnosed her with Crips, complex regional pain syndrome. It's pain that's gone rogue. The thing that caused it, like the sprained ankle, heals. But the pain itself takes on a life of its own, seemingly immune to the treatments on the market. And I was taking hydrocodone, um, I was on oxy for a little bit, um, pretty much anything out there, which it never, it never helped. Then Katie heard of Dr. Stephen D'Amato here in Rhode Island. Today, um, the first time we're going to be able to venture into your toes with these electrodes now. Dr. D'Amato practices a breakthrough treatment called scrambler therapy at the Calmar Pain Clinic in North Providence. He's the first in the country to do so. I was the first. Uh, medical doctor from the United States to be personally trained by the inventor of this technology. Italian doctor Giuseppe Marineo figured out how to use electricity from this machine to not only treat chronic pain, but in some cases, cure it. What we're doing is picking up the nerve pathways that go from your feet, up through your spinal cord, and up to the brain, delivering this message of non-pain. And it seems to be working. Dr. D'Amato has an 89% success rate treating Crips, 87% when it comes to failed back surgery. But the procedure is also effective for things like spinal stenosis, chemotherapy-induced pain, and low back pain. This should be the go-to therapy. It's non-invasive, non-chemical, and there are no known side effects. The machine puts out about as much electricity as static. But what does it feel like? Dr. Oh, D'Amato, let me see for myself. It feels like a little needle, like when you're getting blood drawn. Yeah, a little pinching sensation. Yeah. Not that uncomfortable, it's not hurting. Mm -hmm. right. Except I have a very low pain tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> but if you were in a lot of pain... Now it's kind of tingling. tingling. Now that's the tingling. And now, now this one's starting. Tingling. Exactly. And that tingling now, if you were in pain here, your pain would be gone. Okay. So now a typical patient would endure five days of this on, two days off, another five days on, and then ultimately, hopefully, the pain would the be pain gone. But it's one of those you have to see it to believe it. 
Like many, Katie was admittedly doubtful about the therapy. Remember, she'd been suffering since 2008 and had undergone several unsuccessful treatments. But one day with this machine convinced her. I have no pain. I'm just so happy. I can't, I can't stop smiling. I'm Scrambler therapy is now being used to treat wounded soldiers at the Walter Reed Medical Center in Washington, D.C., and Dr. D'Amato is the one who trained the doctors there. Wow. John Nelson, pretty amazing, isn't yeah, it? It really is. Is this covered by insurance? It is not as of right now. They are in the process of working toward that, so if you typically have that five days on, two days off, five days on, mm -hmm. it costs you about $3,000, but not everyone needs that many days depending on what type of pain and, and how long it's been there. So. That relief was written all over her face. Yeah, just to see that smile, and she told me her first day with no pain, she was just crying and sobbing uncontrollably mm. because she thought her life was over at 22, and now she's got it back again. Awesome. Great. That's great. Thanks, Sarah. Calmar Pain Relief Therapy has given me a new beginning so that I can return to an old life that I loved without pain. I've always been very fit and very active. That came to a slowing after a major car accident. The pain didn't go away. So um, that was the beginning of my chronic pain syndrome. I did my homework. I googled the MC5A technology. I found awards it had won. I found that it had been FDA approved, only available in a few states. And the most important thing I found is that Dr. D'Amato is the go-to guy in the United States. He is the one with the training directly from the inventor creator in Italy of this use of technology. Essentially, even with no insurance coverage for the treatment that I've received, it's a tenth cheaper than the 20% I would have paid for the surgery that could have left me permanently crippled. So I came in cautiously optimistic. I felt it would help. I had no idea that it would actually heal. So it was my back, no, my shoulder the next day, mm, my hip, no, my knee, wait, my neck, and wait, now there's no pain. Could not be more grateful to the skilled, kind, and brilliant staff and physician. A new FDA-approved device has eliminated severe pain in a 14-year-old Utah boy suffering from a common form of dystrophy. It's the same system that ended pain for a 17-year-old teenager struck by lightning. Ed Yates shows us more. I never thought I would see this six months ago. I thought I was going to be on crutches forever. In a symbolic celebratory walk, Taylor Johnson waves goodbye to his crutches, free from severe pain from a nerve disorder called reflex neurovascular dystrophy, or RND. It sends pain signals to the brain even though there's no injury, and then it shuts off the blood vessels, so my leg would get really cold and swollen. You would see him and you would just kind of brush the skin, or even sometimes blow on it, and he would have pain. Drugs failed to bring relief, and physical therapy had done little to strengthen atrophied muscles in his leg. The Johnsons had even turned to a pain specialist in Philadelphia. And we had kind of plateaued. He wasn't getting any better or any worse with the physical therapy, but you could also get on their waiting list for Philadelphia and wait six months and spend ten, twenty, thirty thousand yeah, dollars doing that. As a last resort, the Johnsons took Taylor to Utah's Sparrow Clinic to try out a new device called Calmari. They had seen this story last year on Channel 5 about how the system relieved severe pain in Alex Lamson, one of two teenagers struck by lightning. Researchers believe Calmari's electrical manipulation of peripheral nerves may be retraining the brain that the pain is not there after an injury has healed, or in Taylor's case, where there's no injury at all. Though Dr. Robert Chalmers was not optimistic it would work on Taylor's dystrophy, it did. In Taylor's case, he had a less than dramatic response as he endured the first session of therapy, but after he went home in the first 24 hours, he had experienced a significant difference. And after several treatments, the pain was gone. From crutches to no crutches to walking with his brothers and sisters, let alone walking. Who could have imagined six months ago, Taylor jumping on a pogo stick? 
How about a 25-mile hike on the rim of the Grand Canyon? Running, cycling, skating, and more. For Taylor, it's two simple words. Really awesome. Ed Yates, KSL 5 News. Clinical trials for the Calmari device are now underway in five major medical centers. Calmar Pain Relief is really a godsend for my son and his, his, uh, his way of life. I would absolutely, I would recommend the Calmar Pain Relief Therapy to, to anybody. Before I came to Calmar, I didn't think anything was going to work and the Calmar Therapy did and it was the best decision that I've ever made. Uh, my son Sam is uh, 17 years old has had uh, a disorder, reflex sympathetic dystrophy, since he was 11. He stubbed his foot on the uh, on a door jam. Within a couple of weeks, he started developing a, a pain that we didn't know what was going on. Went to a couple of orthopedics, and uh, they didn't find anything wrong with his foot. The second orthopedic actually had us go to a neurologist because he suspected that it was a RSD. It had been in remission for about five years uh, with some flare-ups, but uh, nothing of, of significance. But back in November of this year, pretty much out of the blue, he came to me and his pain levels had, had increased to anywhere between an 8 and a 10 in his right ankle. I had the mindset nothing was going to work. The first day of treatment, it took uh, Dr. D'Amato about 15 minutes to make adjustments. But on that first day of treatment, he was able to take his pain, which was at a nine when we came, down to zero that day. You could see the relief on his face. It was for the first time, really since November, it was the first time that he had felt truly pain-free. The next day, it, it continually got better. It was seven, six. And by Monday, he was completely off his Neurontin. And as of Tuesday of this week, he really has not experienced anything above a one, and probably for about the last 60 hours now, he's been at no pain level whatsoever. Innovation is the cornerstone of success in America. In order to compete in the global marketplace, businesses and individuals are continuously striving to stay ahead of the game. I'm Terry Bradshaw. You know, from emerging technologies and financial strategies to the latest healthcare developments, you would be surprised by the many factors coming into play. Welcome to Today in America. A report on relieving pain in America by the Institute of Medicine of the National Academies states that at least 116 million adult Americans experience chronic pain. According to the National Pain Foundation, the human body can feel pain in two main ways. Pain caused by injury to tissue such as muscle, bones, ligaments, and body organs is called nociceptive pain. The other type of pain occurs when a nerve is injured. It's called neuropathic pain. Nerve pain is usually a chronic problem that can follow injury or damage to the nervous system. It's also very common among chemotherapy patients. Does it feel the same in here as it does up in here? All right. And Dr. Jack D'Angelo is medical director for Forest Rehabilitation Medicine in Staten Island, New York. The nerve is all the input into the body whether it's light touch, temperature, uh, position in space. Uh, the classic example I think we use is when a kid touches a hot stove and a signal goes up to the brain, says it's hot, move away, and the kid says ouch and, and walks away from it. In chronic pain or in negative pain, that signal never shuts off. It's always telling you that there's a bad pain and there's an injured area. Dr. D'Angelo and his team started using a new type of therapy called Calmair Scrambler Therapy in February of 2011. He and his patients are pleased with the results. The types of patients I treat with the Scrambler Therapy are patients with neuropathy. Whether this is from chemotherapy or from chronic conditions like diabetes or thyroid disease. Prior to this, I was confined to using medications and surgical interventions that had side effects and often weren't successful. With the Scrambler Therapy, we're seeing better results and no side effects. Developed in Italy, 
This effective, non-invasive pain therapy technology is globally distributed by competitive technologies. Publicly traded, it is listed on the OTCQX as CTTC. The term Calmare means soothing in Italian. The Scrambler therapy technology was developed by Professor Giuseppe Marineo and tested for the first time in Tor Vergato Medical University in Rome, Italy. Professor Marineo observed that many patients suffering from chronic neuropathy were non-responsive to traditional drug therapies. He investigated the prospect of treating these patients without drugs, and this led to the research of the Calmar Scrambler therapy. Calmar Scrambler therapy technology is based on five artificial neurons capable of generating information perceived as self and interpreted as non-pain by the central nervous system. During treatment with this technology, the patient will be pain-free. A multi-treatment cycle stabilizes the pain relief effect. Doctors are seeing the same kind of success in patients suffering from other types of nerve pain. Well, it's made a tremendous difference in my life. I'm now able to uh, raise my feet, sit with my feet up. I'm able to drive my car. When I, when I first came to Dr. Jack, to, I was unable to drive. When I couldn't drive, I couldn't take that. So I came and he suggested I try this machine. And sure enough, the strength in my right leg uh, came back. And I'm driving fine now. And I now can sit up at night with my feet up like everyone else when I'm tired. And I, I can't say how grateful I am. Cleared by the FDA, the technology is currently being used to treat patients in several clinics throughout the United States. It is also being used in Italy, India, Greece, Bangladesh, Ireland, Saudi Arabia, and Albania. In the future, it is expected to become the first line of relief for patients suffering from ongoing chronic neuropathic pain. Calmar Pain Relief Therapy has been the best thing to ever happen to me in my life. The type of pain that I have, which is um, reflex sympathetic dystrophy or chronic regional pain syndrome, either or, it's phantom pain. There's, it's pain for no reason. Something that started just in the abdominal area had now spread into both of my hips, both of my thighs, down into the back of my knees, into my right shoulder and neck, and across my whole lower back. Two years ago, I was going to get a morphine pump installed. And the anesthesiologist came in, talked to me, and told me, take me for a walkthrough on how it was going to happen. And he scared the living daylights out of me and my mother. They were going to go ahead and fillet my spine. So then I was introduced to this treatment of scramble technology. And I saw my husband on the way here. I'm like, I'm going to walk out the same as I walked in. They put me on the machine. And I guess other people, when they get hooked up, it's like when you hit a certain level, the pain's gone. But with me, it acted differently. As they turned it up, my pain sort of collapsed into a ball and then blipped out, kind of like turning off a television. And as they got to the highest point, it was just gone. And everybody cried because I started crying and I just said, oh my God, the pain's gone. For the first time in 30 years, I had no pain, none. Welcome back to 12T Health. I'm Dr. Derek De Silva. One in three Americans lives with some type of chronic pain. Medications provides only temporary relief. But for those seeking a more permanent fix, there's an FDA-approved treatment that's showing results. It's called Calmar Therapy. It's non-invasive, drug-free, and pain-free. And my next guest is one of only five certified providers of this treatment in the country. Here to tell us about it is Dr. Michael Cooney, a chiropractor with Rutherford Allied Medical Group. Also joining me is Laura Miller, a teacher who has been treated successfully with Calmar. Welcome to the program. Great to have you Thanks here. Thanks for having us. Com more common causes of pain, doctor? I mean, there are so many people in this country with pain. W what would you see the top two or three are? Well, right now we're dealing with a variety of conditions uh, from CIPN to RSD 
to diabetic neuropathy, post-surgical trauma, any neuropathy that occurs following these conditions. You mentioned a couple of abbreviations, uh, some initials there. Could you just tell us what those are? CIPN? CIPN is chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy, which is a result of the chemotherapy because of its high metal content. Right. Actually damages the nerve mm -hmm. and causes the neuropathy. And then the other one you mentioned? Was ref reflex sympathetic dystrophy, which is uh, which uh, Laura had. Mm -hmm. And what is that? Uh, that's a condition that is very curious in its origin in that it generally starts following a trauma. But the tissue where the trauma occurred is totally healed. They've done MRIs, X-rays, uh, EMGs, mm -hmm. all sorts of testing to determine that there is no relevant cause for the pain in that particular but there's, area. But there's typically pain but that is in that area. Pain. Laura, what happened to you? Um, initially I was in a car accident and then I also had a foot surgery and those two things combined started chronic pain in my life. It was a severe burning and electric pain. Felt like I was getting electrocuted or stabbed with a mm -hmm. knife. Um, and I was also very hypersensitive to touch. Um, nothing could touch my foot. I would cry just putting the sock on. So. So let's, let's get right to this. What is the Calmar therapy? Calmar therapy is a uh, set of algorithms that are used that are delivered uh, via uh, pads that are placed outside the treatment area. Mm -hmm. The, uh, What's going on here? Tell us, just talk over this. Okay, what is going on here is you'll see the pads uh, that are placed on the patient. And what we're following generally is the dermatome that... Which is the, lo the path along which the, the nerve runs. Correct. Right. And what we're trying to do is send a message through the pain area, from no pain areas, to the brain in essence trying to disrupt what's called the uh, somatosensory cortex mm -hmm. so that the brain will uh, no longer see that area as a pain site. What, what, what's your success rate with this? Uh, with RSD, I would say we're, we're at 85%. And with reflex sympathetic dystrophy. Correct. And what about with chemotherapy-induced? Um, I uh, personally have, have only started doing it on chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy. But uh, Mayo, Massey Cancer Institute, a number of uh, mm -hmm. heavy institutions are doing recent studies with it now and are showing significant progress with it. In fact, uh, Walter Reed is doing uh, a phantom limb syndrome, mm. which is, it's obvious that the, there's no pain sure. there uh, because the limb is no longer. Laura, w uh, living with pain has got to be one of the most debilitating conditions that people mm -hmm. can have, yeah. before and after. Tell me what, how your life has been affected. Um, before, I wouldn't let it take over my life. I had a real desire to finish college and start my career, but it had to take over some aspect, and I really suffered um, just having a normal life for someone in their 20s. You know, I didn't go out with friends mm -hmm. and just those kind of activities. Everything involved pain. And to put it simply, for years of my life, I could not go a day without screaming and crying in pain and every night. And now I don't. How long did mm -hmm. it take for, how many treatments typically does it take for people to get relief from the pain? I think it varies, um, but from what I understand, Dr. How Jimmy, about you? Talk about me, your condition. How long did it take The very first you? treatment, I felt significant relief. Really? Um, I, in fact, when it was finished, I just started crying because wow. I had never, I forgot what it felt to feel like without pain. Mm -hmm. um, but then once I finished the course of treatments, I was completely pain free. Is there anybody that's not a candidate for this type of therapy, Doctor? We don't do uh, the therapy on anybody with acute conditions. Uh, for the most part, I don't think I've seen anybody that hasn't had the pain for a minimum of a year and a half. Really? Uh, many of the patients, like Laura, have been suffering from three. I, I have a woman that's starting next week that's had the pain for 15 years. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Great information. Still My name is Bill, and uh, I've had RSD for a little bit over a year and a half as a result of a knee replacement surgery. Um, tried many different tri types of treatments, nothing worked. Um, even got in with Dr. Schwartzman to have uh, ketamine uh, tr infusions. Uh, was rejected for that. Uh, but I'm very 
grateful that I didn't get that because of uh, the, uh, the drugs that would have been pumped through me. We discovered Calmare treatments uh, with Dr. Cooney uh, just in the last month and we're very excited uh, that it was a non-invasive treatment. Many Americans suffer from chronic, debilitating nerve pain every day. Nerve pain can occur from widespread diseases such as cancer, diabetes, shingles, or more common back pain like sciatica. Often, sufferers deal with a searing, burning, electrical shock feeling that can leave them miserable and make it impossible to function in day-to-day -day life. Traditionally, patients have found few options for pain relief other than potentially addictive narcotic painkillers with harmful side effects. Now, following months of intensive research, clinical trials, and FDA review, a new, non-invasive pain therapy medical device already in use in Europe for some time and currently available in the U.S., has proven to be successful in helping thousands of people safely relieve their pain. Named Calmari Therapy Treatment, the device treats debilitating neuropathic and oncologic pain, including pain resistant to morphine, without any adverse or harmful side effects. John Nano, CEO of Competitive Technologies, the New York Stock Exchange listed company behind Calmare, brought the technology to the U.S. after an introduction to its heralded use in Europe. For 3,000 years, man has tried to treat pain using drugs and acupuncture, trying to block the pain signal from the brain. Our biophysical device actually changes the signal to a no pain signal. So this non-invasive device has none of the harmful side effects of narcotic painkillers. Doctors are thrilled to see clear and immediate results with this innovative therapy on their patients. According to Dr. Stephen D'Amato, Calmari therapy treatment is effective with both chronic neuropathic pain and acute oncological pain. It works by transmitting low-frequency electrical stimulation that sends a no-pain signal to the brain. Narcotics have, in this country, led uh, to many deaths. And as a matter of fact, in uh, the last year, the number of deaths from narcotic uh, overdose has doubled in this country. This type of uh, technology hopefully will reduce that number considerably as we move forward in the future using this type of therapy in place of uh, narcotics. Calmari therapy treatment has successfully been used with thousands of patients worldwide and is currently in use at renowned medical facilities, including the University of Miami Pain Management Center, Virginia Commonwealth University's Massey Cancer Center, and the University of Wisconsin-Madison Carbone Cancer Center. Dr. D'Amato recently opened a new, first-of-its-kind pain clinic in North Providence, Rhode Island, exclusively offering Calmari therapy treatment and providing patients with a convenient, locally-based facility for treatment. With overwhelming response so far, he has plans to open 12 additional facilities throughout the U.S. in the next 24 months. The thing that excites me the most is that for the first time in my career, over 30 years as a physician, I found the therapy that truly works and truly has no side effects. For more information on Calmare therapy treatment, visit www.calmarett.com. Hi, my name is Amanda Davidson, and I'm 16 years old. Um, over a year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with something called RSD, reflex sympathetic dystrophy. I've had um, four sympathetic lumbar sympathetic nerve blocks, and I've had an, also an epidural nerve block, and um, those just seem to intensify my pain. And I have, and I um, was not able to walk. I was on um, bed rest for two months, and um, I was up at Mayo, and they had gotten me walking. And um, after that, Mayo said they couldn't do anything else. So then we went back home, and I just did a lot of therapy over the summer. And then I had ended up going to Cincinnati Children's Hospital, 
and I had two lidocaine infusions there and none of them seemed to work. And then I also then went to Cleveland um, Children's Hospital and I was there for three weeks doing a pain clinic and after just coming home from that, that just set me through the roof and it had um, made my whole condition so much worse. Um, we heard about Calamar and it has completely changed my life. Um, I, when the first day was here, um, when I was a nervous wreck and then when they had put the pads on, just the lightest touch of the cord would set me through the roof. And the first day we had spent over two hours just trying to get everything to work out. And um, Dr. Cooney and um, Dr. Michael are the absolute best doctors. I've completely changed my life. Um, now my pain was over 10 all the time and now it's like a zero or a one. It was my left leg, that was bad. And now I can touch the whole thing with like zero to one pain and it's just absolutely amazing. Calmare therapy treatment provides transdermal modulation of pain responses. How does it work? It works by transmitting low frequency stimulation to the nerve using electrodes in tandem at pain areas to provide pain relief and pain control. Surprising! Pain relief and pain control without drugs, even for types of pain resistant to drugs. The Calmare device rests on a storage cart with wheels that lock. The device has five independent channels. Insert five cables into the five channels and lock them to the device by turning the metal collar clockwise. Each cable separates into red and black leads where disposable self-adhesive snap electrodes are attached. The placement of the electrodes on patients will be introduced in the patient setup segment. To use the device, place the cart into the desired area and lock the wheels. Plug the power cable into the rear, lower side of the device and the plug into a grounded socket. Completely rotate, counterclockwise, the five dial selectors on the front panel to zero level. Turn the device on by pressing the switch next to the power cable in the back of the device. Go to the navigation panel on the right side of the front of the device and press the on and off button. The five channels are each equipped with a series of warning lights to constantly monitor the proper operation of the device and monitor functioning. Ready lights indicate the channel is ready with output level on zero. During treatment, the dials are turned clockwise to increase the stimulus output. Meter lights display the stimulus intensity with a range from zero to 70. Each dial selector for each output channel manually regulates stimulus magnitude. During therapy, warning lights flash on and off. This activity enables you to constantly monitor the correct operation of the device and session in a dynamic way. To verify the correct functioning of the device, it is sufficient to check warning lights M0 through M7. For example, when the device is turned on, they light up in sequence and then flash in sync. This indicates the device is in standby mode. The R and T lights flash back and forth to indicate the system safeguard is running. By pressing the right and left navigation buttons down simultaneously, the user clears the treatment program memory. Clear the treatment program memory before treating a patient to clear the last treatment session. Pressing the upper and lower navigation buttons increases or decreases the desired time for treatment. The average treatment time is 30 minutes for neuropathic pain and 45 minutes for oncologic pain. However, patients' treatment varies from 20 to 60 minutes. Set the desired treatment time. Pressing the middle selector button turns on and off the beep tone that indicates the end of the treatment. The device does not exceed 5 milliamps, thus ensuring safe treatment of patients. Jack, so how long have you been having this pain? About a year and a half. Okay, and so it's down the lower back. Can you feel that? Yes. 
Okay, and you said the pain goes down the right leg? Yeah, it shoots down the right leg. Okay, on a scale of zero to 10, what is your pain level right now? It's about an eight. Okay, it's consistently an eight at all yes. the time? And so no matter what position you're in, walking, standing, sitting, you're feeling yeah, the it's, pain? Yeah, it's uncomfortable all the time. Okay, Jack, why don't you put your arms by your sides, please? And you said it's, it's bad, it's about an eight, and you're saying that it gets worse when we bend over too, right? Yes. Okay, so why don't you bend, do you feel it here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. What the next step will be is I'll have you lie on the table, come back up to me, and then we'll uh, treat you. Okay. Okay. Once the therapy duration has been set, it is time to treat the patient. Patients may present with multiple areas of pain on their body. Determine where the pain area is located that will be treated first. Electrodes are placed above and below the pain, not directly on the pain. Start by placing the black electrode in channel 1 on one side of the pain and the red electrode on the opposite side of the pain. Electrodes may be placed vertically or horizontally. Electrodes must be placed in the same color format, all black on top or on the left side, and all red on the bottom or right side. For sciatic pain, electrodes may be placed more laterally to the outside. Placing electrodes on the sagittal plane of the spine is safe and effective in relieving a post-op surgery or neuropathic disc pain. Once the first electrode is placed, Turn the dial on the first channel to the maximum value of the threshold of each patient's tolerance. Ensure that the patient does not have pain or discomfort, such as pinching under the electrodes. The intensity may have to then be reduced. The patient may still feel pain. If the pain has lessened, place the electrodes from the second channel on the patient, remembering that black is on top for vertical placement or on the left side for horizontal placement. Add electrodes as needed. If the patient still presents with pain, electrodes should be moved until the patient feels no pain. Ensure the patient is not feeling any pain before making them comfortable for continuation of treatment. Once the patient feels no pain, make the patient comfortable and finish the treatment. Support pressure points to make the patient more comfortable. Some patients may say that the pain has now moved. This occurs when the primary pain has been eliminated in one area where secondary and tertiary pain may present because the patient is not now feeling the primary pain.